Hey everybody, Dr. Rodman here with Sports Chiropractic. I came across a really interesting guy. His name is Wim Hof. Uh, many of you may have already heard of him. His name uh, is nicknamed the Iceman. And uh, basically, a uh, short uh, summary on him is that um, he has ran in the desert without drinking water, I think a marathon, uh, didn't drink water for the entire time. He's climbed, I believe, Mount Everest uh, in nothing but shorts. Um, and survived and he's uh, just done this some incredible things. He's been under uh, ice for two hours and his core temperature did not change. So, and this has actually been proven credible by science that he was able to do these things and teach these things to other people, uh, showing that he can control uh, his, his autonomic nervous system, the part of the nervous system that's thought to be automatic and that we could not control. And uh, it came to him, uh, in 1995, he uh, said that his wife uh, committed suicide. He was deeply in love with her, uh, left him with uh, their four children, and um, he was just in a bad, bad place and needed to heal his broken heart. And, um, you know, conventional medicine and things were not helping him. So he found uh, that through mindset, positive mindset, uh, certain breathing techniques, and cold exposure, he was able to control his levels of stress and his stress hormones. And it's been proven credible by science. So uh, I watched uh, him, I'm still learning a lot about him, but I've watched him on uh, Evan Carmichael on YouTube as well as Joe Rogan. They have a two and a half hour interview, so I haven't gotten through that whole thing. But just an unbelievable concept that he can control the amount of his fight or flight hormones. They've injected him with uh, endotoxins, a bacterial uh, infection they basically gave him, and uh, he did not spike a fever or even show that he was sick. So he said that he can control his immune system through this. But what I, I did, I, I tried his breathing technique, and uh, I'm not very great at holding my breath for too long. I, I don't like doing it. And the first time I did it, I was able to hold my breath for, for two minutes, um, interesting enough. And I thought that this actually breathing technique that he teaches could be really good for people that are doing like high intensity interval training, Orange Theory, CrossFit type stuff <clears throat> before they exercise. Because basically what he says is he's filling his body with oxygen, getting it into an alkaline state so that he already has so much oxygen in his cells that he doesn't maybe need as much through breathing. So interesting enough, if we do this before we work out, maybe we can do more without taking as many breaks. So I thought it was an interesting concept to share with you guys today and I'm still learning more, but from what he said is he takes 30 deep breaths in, really deep breaths and does a slow exhalation, not all the way out, but then does another deep breath, so 30 all together, and it looks something like this. <sighs> 30 times, and what he says is eventually you're gonna feel a little bit lightheaded. You don't wanna hyperventilate, but after he does that, uh, he'll hold his breath. And I, I haven't researched how many times a day or anything like that, but basically he says by doing that, by breathing in the oxygen, getting rid of carbon dioxide, he's able to not have to depend as much on oxygen. He's been able to uh, swim in frozen waters pretty much under, under ice, holding his breath for, for minutes at a time. So I'm gonna show you right now, uh, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do the 30 breaths. I'm gonna start at zero and see how long I can hold my breath for here. I'll time lapse it a little bit so you guys don't have to watch me hold my breath. But here we go, I'm gonna do the 30 deep breaths now. I'm gonna set my clock and then we'll uh, go ahead and see how long I can do it using the Wim uh, Hof method. Here we go. All right, I'm gonna start the clock now here. Two minutes that time. 
pretty good for me. Um, I'm new at this and I normally can't hold my breath for really a minute uh, from any other time I've done it in the pool or anything. And the thing is, I don't feel like I'm huffing and puffing right now. I feel good. Uh, just an interesting concept, something to think about. Obviously, always good to consult with a doctor before trying this uh, if you have any specific health conditions. But my thinking is that this could be a very uh, great tool to use before going into an oxygen-deprived type anaerobic workout or something where you're you know, not getting to, to breathe in deeply. So uh, you know, you're sprinting, uh, your CrossFit, your Orange Theory, your high intensity interval type training uh, fitness routines. Um, I think this is a great technique to practice. Uh, Wim Hof, W-I-M-H-O-F, definitely worth checking him out and his story, the Joe Rogan interview or on Evan Carmichael on YouTube. And um, he's really helped to change uh, a lot of his problems in life and manage his stress and get, you know, uh, it boost his immune system with breathing technique, positive, uh, certain mindset, and cold exposure. So check him out. I hope this video was helpful for you. Dr. Rodman, have a great day.